Hi everybody. One of the first things you need to know is how to handle your new hat. Make sure you have clean hands. That's the first thing. The second thing you're going to want to do, you're always going to want to handle it by the brim. You don't want to handle it with the crown. Don't pinch it. That's the tendency to pinch it when you take it off and put it on. Well, eventually you're going to wear a hole right here from pinching it all the time. And you leave oil from your hands right there. Your brim, be better off taking it on the brim. Dab it with some tape, brush it right out. Um, but the crown is a little more susceptible um, to wear and tear, especially if you're going to be shaping it and reshaping it, changing the shape of it. And when you're putting your hat on, you can put it on like this. See, this one goes on easy enough. It's a nice, it's a good, comfortable fit, this hat. If it's a little bit tighter, you can take and you can put it on like this and then take your hand and push it down like that. Take your hand, cup it around the back of the hat and push it down like that. There you go. You know, I mean, they can take it on and off like that in the movies all they want to because for one thing, they're actors and it's not their hat. Uh, they're not gonna see that hat again. You wanna take care of your hat. You want it to last you the rest of your life. Always handle it by the brim. Always put it on with the brim. Okay, when you're setting it down, you wanna set your hat down just like this, on a table or on a chair at a restaurant or wherever you're going. Set it down like that on the desk. You don't wanna set it like that. If you're gonna set it down like that for about five minutes, make sure if your brim is down like this, just hang it off the edge. When you're hanging your hat, hang it like that. On a chair, hang it like that. Uh, you may not want to use the same spot all the time because you don't want to, you know. I mean, they're hats. They can take it. They're not that fragile. Um, but, you know, you can always move it around. It'll, you can hang it from different spots. Um, when it's wet, you definitely want to hang it. Uh, let the water come out of it. Um, you don't want to set it like that because the water is going to want to penetrate through the hat if you set it like that. If you set it upside down like that, after it's been wet, then you might get you might get flat spots on the crown of your hat right there. Never use heat to dry your hat. Don't set it on a radiator. Don't use a hair dryer. Don't throw it in a clothes dryer. <laughs> you know, don't set it near an air vent. Be patient. Let it air dry. You use heat to dry it, it's gonna shrink it, and then you're gonna have a mess on your hands. You're gonna have a real problem. You're gonna have to uh, send it to get it reblocked, or you're gonna have to try and reblock it yourself. And that's not gonna be any fun for you or for the hat. So, no matter what kind of hat it is, whether it's wool, straw, uh, fur, hat, you're gonna want to handle them all this way. Um, you don't want to expose any hat really to excessive rain, unnecessary rain, uh, but the ones that can take it mainly are gonna be beaver hats and really thick rabbit felt hats. Those are gonna be able to take it a lot more than, uh, than a wool hat will. A uh, wool hat will have, will have the tendency to shrink uh, after it's been wet and has dried up. But a, a thick rabbit felt, like in a Kubra, uh, the Fed 4 is real thick. Uh, rabbit felt and it's uh, almost like a western hat um, this is a beaver hat and it's nice and thick too I think we determined that it is as thick as the Federation Force standard in the uh, hat measurement in the felt measurement video that I did wool hats are gonna be your entry-level hats uh, now that's not to say that you can't always stick with wool. You know, there's some great wool hats out there, just like the one that Aaron sent me the other day, the uh, Bruno Capello hat. That's a wonderful wool hat. Uh, then you have rabbit felt, and then you have uh, beaver felt. Uh, they go up in price range uh, because it's up in quality as far as the materials go. When your hat's wet, it's really malleable. It is really e easy to shape. So. If you've been wanting to tweak your hat and you get caught in a rainstorm, that's the perfect time to tweak it. But be careful because it's really malleable at that point. Don't leave it in your car. Don't ever leave your hat in your car. Take it with you. Put it on your head. Carry it. When you carry it, when I carry my hat, I always carry it like this. If I have to carry it, if I have to take it off or, or I carry it by the brim like this. I never carry my hat 
like that. I tend to fold up one side of it like this. So if you wonder why some sometimes the brim might look a little different, it's probably because, probably because I've been uh, manhandling it. Just because this is Alabama and, you know, why am I walking around with a felt hat when it's 100 degrees in the shade? When you're brushing your hat, you brush it uh, counterclockwise on the top. Think of uh, a countertop. That's the easiest way to think about that, countertop. Uh, you brush it clockwise on the bottom. Uh, you can use uh, tape before you brush it or pat it with a lint roller. Let me know in the comments section if there's something you wanna see, uh, if there's a question that you have. All questions are good. Chances are somebody out there has the same question that you do. I'm always looking for reasons to shoot a video. <laughs> I did one on fixing my sink. All right, well, I hope you enjoy this. Tips on uh, how to take care of your hat. And um, do like the video, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate that, it helps me out a lot. I'm always looking for content. I'm always looking for something to do, something new and fun. All right, well, y'all have a wonderful week and God bless.